now it goes to Silver Spoon. Welcome back to another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports, ready for our double header in between basketball and hockey. If you're ready for the other side of the game, we have a great matchups for you, right in between of those two. The later tonight will be the next game as the Toronto Maple Leafs are facing against the Panthers back at Amaranth Arena, and following along in the next game, the Golden Knights against the Oilers at Rogers Place in Edmonton, Canada. That'll be the next games underway soon after the first two games with the completion of the NBA playoffs of game four in between. Now we're ready to see what they can do. Milwaukee Bucks are ready to face against Miami Heat again, but now the Heat are in the lead. 2-1 over Milwaukee. It looks like Giannis Antetokounmpo having a little bit of hard time, a little bit of difficulty in the range. Let's find out if he can try to stay alive in this game. Well now, let's do this. Next commentator I have is Meatbone. He's back, and he's along with the other commentators of the crew. This time, I send you over down with another good luck. This time, we have is OJ, and for the first commentary is Nickel. And for once, Alan LaForce on the sideline. Ready to get you back and covered in? We'll see you all later for the post game show. Rosiers on Hero, Butler's with Pinewood Highsmith, and Bale on the Bio in center. Then Giannis on the Kuba with Chris Middleton, the dynamic duos. Malik Beasley with Damian Lillard, and Brooke Lopez in center. Let's get you down to Casilla Center for game four of day two. See you all later, everybody. Then Robert showing you what's going on with the top plays of this game before we get into game number three. Here we go. Your first pick here of the top picks we have is Neighbor 06DD. He takes a double tip off here and for the steal, Watford dogs down. He puts it back. And with an under throw that you're looking at it over now, hitting the backboard, and then you go in from here. Next pick is the no soup for you. It goes with this. It goes sky over in between. So here's no soup, no problem. But that finning of this one puts an ankle breaking on the back head around, and this one was turning to be flipping crazy over in. Next pick, as we move on to Bad Gaming 3935, he goes with this play and goal, with the fade, and we check it out. That is no so read, and does this go back the other way? He pulls the rise after, with the rejection in, fade the shot, get it out of here, and then alley oop it. And finally, on the other side, we go to D, is Sean Fatih. He goes with this angle. And going right back over in the corner, and now rolls up to go with a dunk on your head. It goes with a slam dunk right now, and you just put it in for the victory, put it in for the win. So which one's your favorite top picks? Leave your doves down below as you all have to see the best 2K TV wow moment. And if you have anything, hashtag now with the 2K TV wow moment. And I hope you all enjoy this and you can be the next one in there for this season. And now, hopefully, I won't get posterized by any team if I do one. I'll see you back out there. Peace! And, that's the and here's the player that we call for, Jimmy Butler. He's outside ready to take his own court next. Hello everyone and welcome to another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us today. I'm Nick Flynn and I'm here with my broadcasting partner in between. The side of the order right in between showing off with them some respection in between for the zones with OJ and Nickel. And the starting lineups are right on the board. Now they look forced to see on the sideline, cause also. Great matchups in between, but Giannis and Kupo having a little bit of difficulty. It looks like it could be answering it back and be ready. Well, this is going to be a great day. Let's find out if they can do one. The ball sipped and we are underway in Miami. Starting off with the group in between uh, Pai Smith and Giazza and Kupo. Van Brogier, he's with on Damian Lillard. Jimmy Butler is on Chris Middleton. Van is Melly Beasley on Tyler Hero. And finally, Bam on the bio on Brooke Lopez. Two-pointer up 
And we'll take it in for Bam on the Maya. Here's Damian Lillard. He's on Terry Rozier with the three. This is for the outside, and this will rebound here by Bam on the Maya. It's for a rebound. Now he has it over to Jimmy Butler. Behind him is Rozier. Rozier trying to make a step up. Oh, he just bumped it out on Damian Lillard. And this one just says, Shana na. Oh, that's no way. That tricky of this one is going to start making this rumble down. I don't know what he's going to do. Don't make him clear out of it. And a rebound puts in for Jimmy Butler. Now, the thing about that, I was saying that Terry Rozier, he's been like already been stumbling it up for tonight. Might be looking for more if you get it done. The last game against the Boston Celtics was only 84 points as they lost in my, at, at home against the Celtics on the on a road team. But this wasn't a day that has to be like this at all times because most of the games happen to be a changeover. You've seen this one here at the Eastern Conference Finals against the other team in, back in 2023. But this was nowhere. Derek White makes the buzz beater in game six. Yeah, it's wild. I know it's going to happen, but all you do, you just don't make that one clear out of it. With their no choice, Miami's trying to move on, but they want to hold the lights back, and there's Derek White. He finishes off with an amazing buzz beater. I think they're showing it up like, hey, let's get them back in the game right now. They're really just starting to work it off. Down to six. Hero. Here's Butler for three. Start things up here on the outside. Jimmy Butler with his first three-pointer. Nine to two to score. Malik Beasley with the ball. Passes again to Brook Lopez. He's in the corner. Tries to look up. And he's fouled. Bumped him too soon as Hayward Heisman with his first personal. Bruce Steve Powell falls on Miami with 5.41 to go. Now you say you with Brook Lopez. He's trying to tack it in there. But that hard contact, that's a push-up. That's going to definitely take a lot of contacts here. First free throw coming up here for the Milwaukee Bucks with only 5.41 left to go in the first quarter of the game. They're looking for to see if they can get a close game by. Lopez hits the first free throw. You know, I was always saying right now, we was complaining about the ever game of it in between as Bobby Porter's Jr. has already been rejected of the game. That must have happened here with the Indiana Pacers, and this is what happened with this postseason. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I know this was going to be a lot of take. That's shoving and call. That must have been two players. I mean, they should have been rejected already. Not one. But it's nowhere used. They can't let that one get spooled over if they're having a little bit difficult time to get there. And Jimmy Butler with the steal. You know what the problem does? It's no way that they can try to let that one go in by. If they have a little bit of difficult range, you're not letting that one have the full strength. It's what happens. They lose the effort. You don't want to make that one full mistake out there if they can. Here's a three for Rozier. It's good. Range outside puts for five points. Bucks, they will talk things over. Well, there's a start. That rumble in there is going to show what they got. They will talk things over here with just 5.09 to go on a great start in the first quarter. If you're tuning us here for the part of the new episode of the BFDI and in Enemy Insanity, we're happy to have you back. As right now, we're heading to Fort Lauderdale. Not Miami, sorry, but this is not, I don't even recognize any people over there, but this is what they call it, upper and high level hand. If you're from Miami, you can head on down to Fort Lauderdale as we have a show here for you. This will be another take, or if you're in a, a part of West Palm Beach, or Orlando, Florida, or any place in, in the Florida state, head on down in to Fort Lauderdale. Take a plane, take a car, or a train, or, or a bus, hey. It's just what everyone does. Hey, <laughs> I mean, just go with some transportation out there. With a new BFDI and MSA experience, you'll have some time here to watch the end of the other side with the BFDI A episode 12. And the other one will be starting things off here with the MSA Invitational as season two is coming back after a, after a long while after season three comes to an end. But we are happy to have you here 
So if you're in it, you got tickets, hope you enjoy the show. And we have a look at the Wisdom Conference of the standings. It's just going in, not for anybody's day. Well, this is what they do. They don't let that one get hard to the point. I don't know what goes with this. Problem curtains up? No way to get this one done finished. Damian Lillard. Oh, he just had two hands go down. Now the flyback already, Damian Lillard was like already on posterizing in the middle. He says, watch this. How did that happen? I don't know, man. <laughs> he wants it all. And that was your best mobile taking here, presented by AT&T, the 5G Slate Camp. Now finds Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler up over Middleton scores. Five points in the game, 14-5 to five is his score with under five minutes to go. Now I'm going to take a look here. Jimmy Butler's already got like one steering on, but for this postseason, he's already out. So that's a big disappointment here if he's going to let it go by. Jimmy Butler now finds Heisman. Heisman now finds it over. Gives it again to Rogier. Rogier gives again to Butler. Butler swings again to Rogier. Rogier finds a step back for two. And good. Rogier with another two pointer. 16 to 5 is a score. Up ahead by 9. Middleton will have it again to the Lopez. And he's fouled. That will be on Heat. Bam on the bio with his first personal. It's off the block here with four or five to go. Here's a status here for Giannis on the Kubo for this season. Since his All-Star game only happened with 18.7 after in Indianapolis, he's really taking his all with his never legendary score. It's just not to be like him. Giannis on the Kubo, they've really been delivering up. But when he's talking for his interview, it's not how hard you go. You just gotta get there and they go and forward. You just don't quit. You have no idea what's going on with you because this is really what the team is. Gotta do some a little work and communication skills if you have it. After the first free throw puts in for Brook Lopez, he will have another free throw coming in. His second free throw is in. Now here's Rozier to third. 16 to 7 to score. Hero in Jordan Porter. Finds again to Heisman. Heisman now finds Hero. Looks to Butler. Covered up in the quarter. Down to six to go. They need to get some shots here. Heisman for three. And good! Range outside puts it in. And this one is up ahead. 19 to 7. He's saving an alert. Scrumming along the side of the court now. Damian Lillard trying to give a pass. It's deflected. Last touch on Jimmy Butler will stay alive for the Bucks. With 324 to go. And a chance here as we look for our number one. As for Giannis Antetokounmpo since his All-Star game, he's getting a little bit behind with only 29.5. He's in third place. Hey, just let them handle it now. Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's the captain, the Greek freak, let it live on with his drummer. And Giannis on the Kubo finishes up with a try. After assist by Brook Lopez, he's trying to get another two-pointer in there. Heisman now finds Heisman. Back to Rogier. Great ball movement and is stolen by Middleton. Here's Beasley, here he comes. Good effort here for the defender. Adebayo's got his second rebound with under three minutes. Now here's Rozier with the finish. The try makes it in. Nine points in the game. 21 to nine to score. They are on to a full kill. Yeah, huh? Kill out. Melt him down. I don't know what they can do. This is on a hot streak here. Hot hands. Damian Lillard misses a three-pointer. Adebayo now finds again to Highsmith. He's now finding Rozier, do it again, and he's fouled. Damian Lillard with his first personal, with Giannis on a Koopa game bumped out. Rozier's at the free throw line shooting too. Well, not what you just do now. Terry Rozier's trying to get the attackers in there. He's trying to like answer it. But that won't change his ability. This offense can't let that one get scored in there if he can get that one back. Back by far, he might have it all in the cover down. 
just get the fruit quickly, fast. The free throw sent in for Lugia. Now it's a new line group substitution. It's now two players as Danilio Gallinari checked in. On the other side of Kubo, Bobby Porter's junior checked in. Back got in along with Crowder are checking in. Four players checked out Robinson Martin, the Calcas Jr., and from the center of it is Jokic. The second free throw sent in for the Heat. Now the number take for Patrick Beverly is on the other side. Block the pass, getting covered by Crowder. Yoga on in, Beverly, goes here, watching the drive, the defensive breakdown puts it in for the Bucks. Patrick Beverly's got his first bucket, and now just only two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Hawkins Jr. right toward the wing. Back again to Rozier. Rozier now finds Hawkins Jr. Jr. now finds a pass over, free for Morgan. It's good! Outside puts it up in, it's now puts it in a 26 11 score. Just know our luck. That might be what they're getting for. Now back to Gallinari. Gallinari over Jovic. We'll take it back. Cotton 10 for 3. Another miss by Milwaukee. They're shooting now really okay, but. That's not what they're doing for. It's not okay when you take the three pointers. Don't let that happen. Because there might be one change if they can't get. Now Hawkins Jr. now finds Rozier to third. Oh, what that one in there. Martin. Hawkins Jr. Four to two. And that hits off the rim back to Gallinari with the rebound. Under a minute left to remain in the first quarter. Here's Patrick Beverly. He's right in the middle. Over again. Solid defensive effort as he has it back. Beverly, caught it for three. No good. Martin's got his first rebound now. Has it over again. Finding Hawkins Jr. Hawkins Jr. now finds him. Where is he going to third? Passing it over now back again to Martin. He now has it again to Robinson. Robinson gives it over again to Hawkins Jr. 30 seconds left to remain. Back again to Martin. Four on the shot clock. Step up for two. And we'll take it in. Now that Martin with his first bucket. It's just going to be a big on take. No one's got that one all, but they let it go it off. Let it go. With the feet. Beverly finds Boris Jr. Face a shot. Beverly on the outside. Trying to watch out from here. Screen on Gallinari. And here's Beverly. We'll finish off the drive, and this will be a 28-13 score. Well, that's a killer already. Patrick Beverly and it's really start. And that will be short. That ends the first quarter. It's a 28-13 run. They're up ahead. We'll be right back after this. It's going to be a close game in the range, but hopefully this extension will come out. Be back after this. And as we welcome you back here at Kaseya Center, we're ready to start the second quarter. On each period, this happened to be one of the conference of this game in game one in round one, as Giannis Antetokounmpo has already been knocking out. But in game five, happened to be one of the better ways that they are trying to answer their way in. They're trying to get this one over and attacking, guys. Do you think this will happen again? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it might happen again. It may not be, or do, or not. It may never, never going to be a choice of it again, but they're going to try to let that one get slammed over. Nobody wants that one in there, I mean, they're going to need to make sure to have it all settled in there and get going. After a dump by Giles on the Koopa, here's Robinson. Now he finds a pass back to right. Now moves it again to the Hawkins Jr. Hawkins Jr. trying to give it over again to D-Long Wright. For a layup, up and over it. D-Long Wright with his first bucket. Now here's Damian Lillard with the ball. 7.20 to go in the first half of the game. Try to have it over, spin the move. He's trying to go for it. Oh, what a take in. There's a lot of major throwdowns in between Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo. They were really going hard for They wanted to go hard. Jimmy Butler, a screen for Hawkins Jr. 
Here's a take over Giannis, and he makes it wrap around. He just tries to go with a tricky motion. He has seven points. Now there's one. Another one takes it over it. Just gotta keep it stronger than you can. What a drive for Butler. Here's Damian Lillard. He goes up. This is again a rebound. Puts it for Bam on the bio. Now back to Hawkins Jr. Off to Bam on the bio and show him on the revenge back. There's gonna be a one take over, and now you just scared to have to feel like Bam. Who's the boss now? That's back for Hawkins Jr. Give it over to Bam on the bio that quick. Johnson and Tupo makes a great for layup drive. And now back again to Jimmy Butler. 34-19 to score, and now they're trying to look for another attackers again. Trying to come up with another look. The other side will force. He will try to make some of the new changeups here. As this one is called for Eric Spolstra. He's one of the better uh, te uh, technique coaches of the game in Miami. And he has definitely done so many of his, of his good look of the technique. And he really has been going over it on his better responsiveness. And he's going right in between it to get right into this game. You know the name's Coach Spoke. He's definitely an American professional basketball coach and associated with his widely regarded one of his best coaches in the league and one of the greatest of all time. He has won two NBA championships as a head coach of the Heat. Traditionally, Philadelphia American, Spolstra is the first traditionally Asian American head coach in the history of the four major North American sports leagues. But this was all takes his first Asian American head coach to win an NBA title. Now, I say what, Eric Spolstra made that one in all of this great move. Better technique is, gotta go for some good, uh, good offensive look to take all the, take the courtesy effort. They're making sure that everyone loves that game. I say Eric Spolstra, he's our one, and definitely the 40 2022 All-Star game, it really have to be coming on for a, for a bunch of a game in between. And now it's new substitute changes here on the court as Duncan Robinson checked in. Bam on a bio, he's ready to get back into this one here, and now he goes back to Butler. On the takeaway two. To get it back. And it's Butler missing up with the layup. Sorry, with the rebound. Back to on the Kumbo. He's over to get a little best now by Stevie and Lillard. Looks in the middle and up at the two. Solid D puts it back. Damian Lillard for three, and it's good. On the outside, puts it back in here. It's a 34 22 game. Tyler Hero with the ball, now has it again to get a on the bio. On the bio, swings back to right. He now back to Hero. Hero gives it again to Butler. Off to Hero on the layup, foul, bucket one. Tyler Hero showing the crowd response. He say, I'm okay, I'm all for it. You know how that happened. Tyler Hero is really going in there. I like this style. What a great for finishing effort he takes. The foul balls on Brooke Lopez is right now. Tyler Hero at the free throw line shooting two. Now, no make the bucket cap. Now up only one shot. And he makes a free throw. Tyler Hero has three points. 5.15 left to go in the first half of the game. It's now a 37-22 game. He's up again. Oh! Oh! Fly down! Man on the carry! After a throw down here for Aaron Kumpo, here's Hero. Now finds again a right. Arbio sets the screen. And the finishing drive, great cut in. Nice one for D'Lon Wright. Add to her help here by Bam on the bio with the screen. Now it's a great cut right now. I mean, just gotta let that go if you can't get there. Defensive three seconds called on D'Lon Wright. It will be Bucks technical free throw. And it's right now at the free throw will be Damian Lillard. 439 left to go in the first half of the game. Doc Rivers trying to let that happen, but Eric Spolstra seems not to be happy at all. Well, that's a big mistake already. I mean, he's not out of the court. Sometimes that problem it is. He, he's going to definitely have to get some free throws in there.
Free throw sets in for Damian Lillard. Now back down to Kubo. Butler on him. Holding a defense and now finds Middleton. Middleton in for the center. Up at the drive and it's up of another miss. And it rolls around the rim and it goes in. Brooke Lopez with the number two. They're bullying it face down by 12. And Butler with the ball. Here's the number take here for Bam on bio. Bounce pass finds Duncan Robinson for two. And it's another miss here for our Miami Heat. A oh, solid effort out. I mean, never going to get that winner if you get there. Three-pointer misses off the target. Now Butler has the ball. Butler almost lost it. Finds up at Robinson, and he's up and makes it in. That finishes off with the run, a drive, and it has its first bucket after Butler with the assist. Now Damian Lillard finds it over to get on the Kubo. Three forty left to go in the first half of the game. Now he gets it off to Milton. Robinson on it. Switches it off. Oh, you go! Wow! That's an excellent on the Kubo move. And it's over and back me to you, Chris. That's a Milton drive. Successfully made it in there. You know, that's a better one they have. You know, the technique is never going to let it go by. Never going to slow down. Never going to let it go by again. I mean, you just keep on rolling if you can. Butler with a setback. That two pointers off the mark, and now he gives it again to Robinson. And it's Pat Pats on the Kubo. Here comes Damian Lillard for the two. And he will take another one in there. They're back down by 10. Under three minutes left to go, here's Butler. Finds again to Hero. The bounce pass finds again on Bio. Rolls again. Now finds Ruck. Right, trying to give it over to Butler again. Then trying to watch out with the steal. He, the time is ticking down. We're up here for three. He'll have it back. And a bio up. And good! Two-pointer has made it in. He has eight points. After a miss by Tyler Hero, he's getting another one in there. Close call, close range. May not be what you're looking at. Bam on bio has to get something else to try to step up the game. Easy, Milton for two. Just again, and it's on a bio with his seventh rebound. Back again. Oh, I wanted a Kubo got a steal of it. Here he comes. Misses the drive. On a bio with the ball. Now finding it again to Tyler Hero. Hero swings again on a bio. Robinson for the triple range. Kaboom! Right from the outside. He has five points. Damian Lillard with the ball, on a drive, built in for the two. Dumps again on the outside, and it's back to another layup in for Damian Lillard. He has 12 points in this game, with under 90 seconds to go. And Cutler now finds it again, bam on the bio. On a bio, trying to give off to Hero that quickly, again to right. Rolls it over, now finds it on the Tries to pull it in there. Hero looks again. And a two. Rolls in and out. That's another miss by Miami. Damian Lillard with the ball with a minute to go. Try to watch in between here and the right on him. Block the pass and it's stolen. There comes Butler. Off to Hero and a two. Good. Nice pass by Jimmy Butler. He has five points for Tyler Hero. That's going to keep on going now. Jimmy Butler got to get it done right away. And another miss by Milwaukee. They're missing everywhere now. I mean, I don't know what they could do. They have to try and like line and leave off. That angle is never going to pressure the same. Hero swings again to break. Now has it over again to Adebayo. Six on the shot clock. Hero for two. That's another miss by Miami. On the Kubo against Butler. He finds a pass. It's stolen by Butler. Here comes Hero. And the finish puts in. Seven points for Tyler Hero. With down to a second 
Milton fades, shoots, and gets it in there. And it's the three pointer here, a 50 36 score. We've come to the end of the first half, a 50 to 36 score. Pretty tight even so far, but we'll find out what happens with the second half. All right, everyone, be back after this. Half time's on now. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Joe Smith. It was all Terry Rozier in the first quarter. He had 11 points and two assists. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into play. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? I'm just glad it's here to be good for them to rub the half. They couldn't push around, not to allow you to look. That's kind of the deal of the face. I'm kind of lose 30 by my guys. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we're about to get this thing set, ready for the third quarter. We welcome you back in Miami as we're ready to have that one coming up. Then we take a look up here. The big guy you know for, but the dynamic duo comes to save the day. Damian Lillard, he just had 12 points in this game. It's coming to be a closing quarter, but he's a little cold, but we'll find out if he does more what it takes. We start things off. On the Kumpo, he's on Haywood Highsmith. Then it's Bam Adebayo on Brooke Lopez. Then from the center of it is Jimmy Butler. He's with on the other side of Chris Milton. Van Malik Beasley, he's with on Tyler Hero. And Damian Lillard, he's on Terry Rozier with third. Finds a pass to Hero. Beasley on him, gives it again to Butler. Butler fakes his shot. I Smith going for three. Another one missed, puts it. And here comes on a Kumpo. Looking to do it. And yes, he does. Another two pointer comes in for on a Kumpo. And Brooke Lopez with the assist. They are back down by 10. Quickly enough now. Now we're going to let that one fight. They never slow down. They're never going to let that easier in there to get right to the point. Butler back again to I Smith. Hi Smith trying to get back into work here and Butler with the ball. On the layup, it's good! Jimmy Butler with nine points. Hada Kupo rolling to get back up. And now Damian Lillard is on the court trying to look for some more attempts here. Opening it up, here's Middleton. And a shot makes it in after Damian Lillard with the assist. Rolling back down by 10 already. We're trying to get that one in there on the better time. Butler is on the outside. The bounce pass to Hero. Up and down, it's good. Tyler Hero has nine points. It's a down back into a 12 point lead. Just gotta keep on going there. Tyler Hero hasn't been really scoring that much already, but hopefully he gets back in the game. On a Kubo up. And a great shot with Zed. Never mess up the Greek freak. He has 14 points over Tony Rogers' score. Just gonna let that happen now. I mean, you're never gonna score a big now. If there's a bigger guy, he would have had a lot of chance to make the contest to go right to work. I don't know if this will happen, but hopefully we'll find out. Hero stepped out of bounds, and it's now Milwaukee ball. Here's a status look for Chris Milton. The better range was 20, 20 to 21 for 20 points on. It's everything close already, and, and this season was not Really the same thing that doesn't happen to like anybody who can get there. I know it's hard, but don't let that enforce come back. Reporter from Ali LaForce as now he she has to talk things over. Dark Quivers has been really like getting his Goliath trained in between. But it doesn't happen with one of them in between. Doc Quivers trying to like get signed with his contract moment after fired from the Sixers. But he's looking to get more if he gets right back into the game to get more in. It's just happening now. I mean, when Doc Rivers has nowhere to go after Mike Winnozos gets fired out, rejected for the game, 
He had nowhere to do. He wanted to get the contract in there and get Doc Rivers back in the game. That one goes over to backboard, and this will be Heat Ball. After a three-point made for Tyler Hero, here's how they do it on the other side. For Ana de Kumpo, Hero Corp percentage was a little slow to get up there. He's in fifth place with 61.1. Not what everybody seems to care for, Giannis Ana de Kumpo, but that field goal is a hard one to take. Let him handle it if he has more room. The pass now finds out of Io. He now has it over to Highsmith. Up for two. Rolls in and out. Damian Lillard with the ball with under five minutes. Spins a move. Looks in the middle. Tries to go around. And over Rogier he goes. So that is another two point for Damian Lillard. On the road again. Keeps scoring. I don't know why is this going to happen. The two for Adebayo. That one puts it in here and he has ten points. He is rolling up to the deck. Milwaukee trying by 13. Off to Rodex, and he will take it in there, back down by 11. And this one will be another timeout call by Miami Heat. With 4.16 left to go in the third quarter. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. I know what you're looking for. If you're looking for your next game, we've got an next one coming underway as we have the Suns against the Wolves. Wolves on the extension, 3-0. This will be a win or go home for Phoenix Suns. They are having a little bit of difficulty here, but they're trying to look for some answer back here for Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and some time for the other teams here if you're looking for an over bucket fans. It's not easy, but they do. Well, it's just nowhere going. They're going to have a hard time shooting it and they're going to look over it. You're not really happy enough, and there's no why. Why is the execution going to let that happen? They don't want to mess this thing up, and they just can't let that one be. Now here's the pass by Andy Morgan. After a new exchange up here for the 6 for the Bucks and the Heat, Robinson with Martin, and Hawkins Jr. with Jokic. Moves here to third, finds a pass back to Hawkins Jr. He's off to get into Martin. Great pass, but that shot doesn't make it in there for Morgan. Jay Crowder finds BC. Solid performance for Duncan Robinson. He has his first rebound. Now we'll have that one changed over back to Hawkins Jr. In the middle, it's stolen by Gallinari. Crowder gives it over again. BC shows it down. Easy. That one goes back down by nine. Oh, there's a little trouble rage on that. There's no one, and there's an no one. Mercier finds it in to Hawkins Jr. Helping over hit pass, trying to get into Robinson. The spin for the two. That missed again, and there one goes off. And now here's Crowder. He had a full breakaway chain. Foul. And that one goes on Caleb Martin. That's his first personal. And her team foul calls on Miami Heat. Bobby Ward is in the free throw line. Nope. Jay Crowder in the free throw line. Shooting two. We'll find out what he got. First free throw. Jay Crowder trying to hold it out. Scout Connaughton will check in for Malik Beasley. Trying to make a lot of new attacking changes, but this won't be happening if there is another change up that gets in the way. Mm -hmm. I know that it's going to be a lot challenging, but don't get in the way for Jay Crowder. It's a hard one. Heartbreaker than you have no. Now they're back down by seven already. Now here's Rogier. He finds a pass to Jovic. 
He gives it off to Hawkins Jr. Hasn't scored yet, but he only had his third, third assist of the games. Three assists of the games, and now he's trying to look for more. Yes, again, Hawkins Jr. trying to get for the two, but a layup and score! Hawkins Jr. with his first bucket. Back up again by nine. Yalidari Ayubic. The screen puts it in. In the middle, trying to loop him out. It's a nervous by Gallinari. 2.30 left to go in the third quarter. Alan Martin now trying to give again to Rogier. Motion takes it in. That screen won't give off. Rogier trying to help some more room in the scrimmage, but the time is ticking down. Finds the Jovic for two. And he will take it in. He is put it in. And that is his first bucket of his appearance. Just really need to be in there. Need to show up. Jonathan finishes it up with the drop. Now Rozier with the ball with under two minutes left to go in the first. Rozier trying to set it up again. Now finds Jovic. Jovic trying to roll it again back to Martin. Martin trying to swing it over. Hawkins Jr. on the outside. Duncan Robinson for the two. And good! Another two point range in. Porter Heaton. He has seven points. Back to a 90 second game. And here is another look here for Beverly. Beverly only scored a couple of men in the first quarter. But he is trying to answer in the third quarter if he gets there. Watching the screen. Here's a take, and it's open room for Kyneton. He slams it down, and Patrick Beverly picks up the assist. There's a defensive mistake he had. That defensive breakdown is never going to really take it easier in this one. Rozier filling it out a little bit. Martin from the outside, trying to answer in. Martin gives it again to Jovic. Here's a bounce pass, Hawkins Jr. for two, and it's no good, and number one picks up a miss. Donatin spins the move, and outside is Bobby Porter Jr. now finds Crowder. Crowder gets an open look, almost lost the ball, gets it back to Porter Jr. Crowder with a two, and Porter Jr. Back on it, running out of time, Gallinari up, and he misses again, and this will go back the airway to Jovic. And Rozier will have it now. Time sticking down. Final seconds in the third. Martin. Rozier for the two. And he takes it in. That ends the third quarter at 67-59 game. So now there we have it, folks. Rozier does it again. Make it clear. Make it great. Possibilities are endless now. It's going to be a hard one to take. We come to the end of the third quarter as we have one more quarter left. 67 is 56 to score. We get your games covered in here when we come back. You're watching the NBA Playoffs and 2K Sports. Put together three or four stops in a row. Come on, just concentrate on good basketball right now. Sean carry out on the move, and I always say that Eric Spolstra has been really been talking it over with his team. Ever since they're getting into the postseason, they're trying to fight for it. Better range than that. Yes, I know they are. It's not when you're just doing it. If you, if you don't stand it still, you don't get enough detention work. That speed is going to like change it off on the other side of the range. Nobody can't let that happen if they get there first. And the out of the football, another try makes it in. And it's Middleton with the assist. 67 to to score. We're just passing it down. High Smith is on out of the football. Then again, we have it across Patrick Beverly on Hero. Van Butler, he's on Chris Middleton. Brooke Lopez, he's with Bam out of Bale. And finally, we have is, of course you know, Dillon Wright on Damian Lillard. You learn right, had a little trip and he's out of time. No bucket made, turns it over to Milwaukee Ball. Well, he's already had a defender. He's losing effort. That's too much timing to do that shot. It's going to take over with a lot of a tricky motion, and it's going to change it over. That's going to affect him on the heat. You see me a little on the outside, try to roll it in. 
Off with the pass to Beverly for three. And he misses the kid on the outside. On a fight and on the roll. Now trying to get back again. 11 rebounds in this game. Butler on the outside. Butler trying to roll it in for the two. That hits off the rim, and that's another miss by Miami. Patrick Beverly trying to roll it in. He gives it off to Damian Lillard. Oh, he got a deny peaceful here. Back goes on to Gaylord Highsmith. Now back to Hero. Now finds Butler. Butler sending it in, and that's solid D on Ayana Kumpo. Back the air away with six minutes going by. He's all alone, taking a spin move, and he says, no, nah, no, nah, that takes over me. Timeout call by Miami Heat. 6.02 left to go, and John Sam Kubo says, I want this. I want it back to bring game four. Well, I don't know if you would. The possible can't let that happen to you. It's just what they do. I mean, they got to make sure they have it all settled in there. Get it right down to the alley of the board. For the next couple of the games, you will try to see what goes in for another change-off moment. For this next matchup, we have another one to take. It's the Indiana Pacers facing against the Cavaliers, and they are playing at Gamebridge Fieldhouse for the first part of the game. Van Flying with the second game as we go back again. The Golden State Warriors are facing against the Nuggets on the other side. That's another take over here on the other side of the angle. And following along with the next part of the game for another Eastern Conference matchup, we've got yours covered here. As the Knicks are back again to face against the Magic in Orlando. And finally, with that one, Pelicans against the Thunders. There'll be another take on the other side back to a full game straight on the other hand. Now will be all the games only on Summit Beats. Patrick Beverly shut down as Malik Beasley shut in. Elon Wright trying to look it over again. Pass stolen by Brooke Lopez. They'll never turn over for Miami. Here comes Ida Kumpo. Rolls it up. What a two. Solid play. Puts it back. And another miss puts up here for the connection for Milwaukee. Here comes Anabayo on a tip. And takes it in. Bill on the way with 12 points. Back to nine with five three to go. They really are stepping it in right now. I mean, I don't know what they could do. Let it keep on handling it. On a new boat. Oh, no way. Back the airway goes. He has 20 points in the paint so far. And 20 of his career points in game four. Just no our luck. Flying unicorn, watch out. In Miami. Here's Highsmith. Now he will try to give off to Anabayo, and now back to Highsmith. Off to Butler. Butler trying to get some shots in, and a good solid effort for Chris Middleton. On to Kupo with the ball. Here he comes again, and he slams it down. Back down by five. They are racing in to force game four to get to a tie series game. Butler. Slides back, now finds Highsmith. Highsmith now finds it again. Butler to Adebayo for a drive. It's blocked by Lopez. Here's Adekupo with the look. Page, free for Milton. It's good. They're back down again by two. It's a close game, 69-67. Uh-oh, they're going to have to have one come back in. They're flying in on their way. Nobody wants that one to get in the way. Hero gives it again to Wright. Wright, for a step in. It's good. He has six points. On the Kubo. Fans are getting loud in Kaseya Center. And he's fouled. High spit with his second personal. And a first team foul calls on Milwaukee. Sorry, Miami. With under four minutes. Correct the exclusion. On the Kubo at the free throw line. And he is taking another two point shots.
He makes the first free throw. Looking for another take. It's now Rogier will head back onto the court. A switch in for DeLon Wright. You know, I say what the great Frank has done. All of his accomplishment, he's been really trying to fight back for it. You know, every day, every game has happened here in game one. He's really like all in the legendary. I can just slam out and dunk down. With a wild reaction, I have no idea what's going on. They don't really are fighting it in for it, but sometimes I the Kubo can't really let that happen. If there's something goes in there, he's gonna make sure he gets it all to the right timing. Now Rouge with the ball as the fans are trying to get back into their feet. Here's another look. Butler. Looks again. Rougier trying to roll it in across. And Butler back the outside. Hero for a triple arc. Misses again. Now it's a chance to tie it or go down by one. Middleton finds Lopez. Middleton for the two. And he takes it in. Sarah back down by one. And it's going to be a close call now. Get booming. Now here's Hero with the ball. 3-10 to go. Most Hero with the ball. Looks again. Finding pass to Butler. Butler trying to get the pass over. High Smith for two. And it's good. High Smith pulls it in now. They're trying to get back into this. About three minutes left to go. Here's Lillard. Lillard trying to answer it in there. He's up for the two. Lopez, it's good. A number two point take on the bow long. And Eric Spolstra calls time with 2.43 to go in the fourth quarter. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't let life without it. Starry Lines. And by Adidas. Never miss the game with the NBA app. You can uh, download it anytime here, right on here, on your mobile device, tablet, or anytime here on the computer, too. And it's all everything that you can definitely choose for. Download the NBA app today. And speaking of which, right now, we also have a store here for you. You can go check out a Fanatics experience at NBAStore.com or go to FanaticsOfTheStore.com where they can bring up with a better experience for a lifetime. Every game time you wish. And go in with your favorite. Now it's time for your New Balance player of the game. And the game goes out in game four to Jimmy Butler. Butler's been one of the better players in this game. I know he's been on a talented games so far. Even now that the real game doesn't happen to me much of it, it's an intentional way. He's trying to look for his never accomplishment with his goal. Really been going in there like he did. He may be adding another playoff in there, but let's find out if he does. With nearing down 2.30 to go, here's Harry Rogier. He's up again out of bio. And back to Butler. Over Middleton. And it goes off the rim again. Damian Lillard's chance to take the lead up, and Beasley slams it dunk down after Lillard with the assist. There's going to be a back change in there, need to get this one moving. Here's Robinson, Robinson can go up and it's good! Duncan Robinson with nine points, back to a one point bleeding position. With two minutes going down, here's another chance. Short, rebounded by Rogier. Rogier trying to battle it again, finding Butler. Butler gives it in to Highsmith. Looks again to Rogier. Rogier, Highsmith now finds it over. Robinson on the outside, six on the shot clock. Here's the take. Rogier, three, up, good! 16 points, and now here's back up with four. And the other team getting a little back in, back down by one. They just don't like that call, they don't have that one filling in there. Butler 
trying to get on the bio. On the bio for the two. And it's good. On the bio with 14 points. Back to F to three. Design a Kumpo. Try to handle it in. Up and it goes in. No one is trying to stop an eye on Kumpo. He's like on fire right now. 83 for his first half and 78 for his second half appearance. Here's another one for Rogio. Rogio trying to lay a handle it down. Here's Adebayo for the two. And he missed the gun. Chance to take the lead for Damian Lillard. Rolls again on the Kumpo. On the Kumpo trying to roll it in there. He's up. And makes it in. On the Kumpo trying to roll it in. Back up by one. Now it's their chance now. Jimmy Butler's trying to get it in there with only 40 seconds to go. Slowing down so far. Trying to get into the game with 10 seconds to shoot. Spare some time now. He's over now to Robinson. Here's a chance. Three for Rochia. It's good! Right outside for the butt step of the door. It's up by two. The fans are rolling in for that heat wild night. They all never let that be in here. They really are showing what they've done and get it through. Time out goal by Milwaukee Bucks. The Vinder, 25 seconds to go. Shot clock 10 blood. And we are really expecting to see the post game in between. Test tube and Silver Spoon. What do you guys have to say about that? Well, I got a good feeling in the range out there. <laughs> I, I've got a great saying that this team is just really impossible right now. I'm hoping there's another takeover in between, but we'll find out if there's another win for Miami or the Bucks. It's a close game right now. They're trying to get this one in there, but let's see what they do. All right, thank you guys. And we'll see you all later, everyone, for the Post Game Show. All comes in. Here they come. Ida Kupo trying to get into the game to tie it up. 20 seconds left to go. Will he take it? And yes, he does. Last time out called by Miami Heat. They will have to try to reset things up now. And with just only 16 seconds before the time goes down to zero. Well, they really need to do something else now. They have nowhere to go. They need to get this one there straight as fast as they can. You know how this happened to be like a fantastic uh, finish? Miami Heat, they lost their team against the Nuggets in game number four. They lost two points short, and there was no way they didn't try to defend it. It was a hard one that they pick off there for a night without anyone there against the Denver Nuggets in the finals. This was nowhere near. They were really trying to step it in there for sure, but no game between. I know what happened now, but they really have to show that what their response is. No bucket for Jimmy Butler, and nothing happened with the Heat. They really are just losing their tempo effort, and they just won't take a chance in. It's hard now. Really may not be anybody's idea, but hopefully or not, it's going to happen. Will this be it? I think it might be one. Well, as it now being said, the time comes down to this. Win or tie. Here we go. Rozier now finds to get it on the outside side. Laying the time right down. Robinson rolls it back. Out of IO, pulls it in, goes here, Robinson, Highsmith for the win! Oh, it just went off the court! Timeout call here with just 0.6 seconds left. for the Bucks. Will they get a bucket in? With the three. And missed again. We are heading to overtime in game four. Now this is nowhere luck. 
They don't let that happen. They can't let it be denied for a brand new game. So far, no leadoff scores in the fourth quarter. We are ready for the very overtime game, and we will be underway here soon after these messages. Two kings off here in overtime, and this part of the game starts in. It is brought to you by Tissic, official watch of the NBA. And we're off to go, ready for overtime. Let's get going. He's over again. Hawkins shooting with the steal. He's off to Jovic, wants to get to Hawkins. Jump in, and Leo picks it in. Hawkins Jr. with his second bucket of the night. Off again with an 85 83. Here's Guy's in on Robinson. Trying to roll it in. Here's Prater. Butler with him now. With a shot. Comes short. Jimmy Butler with an excellent defensive effort. Now finding Jokic. Here's a three. Last touch puts in for the Bucks. As the heat ball will keep it alive. By Pat Connaughton. Here's Rogier trying to slow down. Now finds Robinson. Robinson gives it again. Now finds Rogier with a layup and good. Rogier with 21. And Bobby Porter Jr. trying to attack it here. And he's just like going on the corner where he says, I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. I don't want to lose it again. Here's a take. And it's blocked by Jovic. Rebound by Hawkins Jr. He has the second rebound. Now finds Jovic with the layup. Good take. Jovic with his second bucket. Fans are alive here at the Kaseya Center. With Milwaukee in a timeout. Live under three minutes. They're really going to get that one up there. They're really about to show them what they get. That is a big take. Response effort, no one cares for. They just say bucks. Why could you just not get back into the second round? Well, Miami Heat, they're just clutching it in right now. Want to get right into the seventh seed to pull an upset. As a reminder right now, we have our last game coming up as we have the Suns facing against the Timberwolves. That will be happening here at Footprint Center. That will be the next game underway, underway soon. Rudy Gobert, Mike Conley, along with Tim Booker and Grayson Allen. Alright, you get to say undercover here for the start after this game is finished. So that will be happening here later before heading into hockey. That's right. Don't let that one miss out on our opportunity range. That will be the next one underway soon. Coming up after this. <laughs> New sets of dishes on the court for the Bucks and for the Heat. Mountie Beasley's check back in with Damian Lillard. And I uh, Kumbo really wanted to get that one out there, but he's on the court just trying to say, let's go back into the game and do it again. They want to last check David Jokic. And now here's Rozier. Up again. Whoa! Wow, Rozier! What a fly run! Make down that big boy just happened to be a killer on the pain rim. Time coming down the wire. Damian Lillard with number three. Another chance, no good. On a fire with 14 rebounds in this game. Butler from the outside. Trying to go for near from the white line. Almost made it in, but that one was too close. Damian Lillard in toward the middle. Layup, no good. Here's another one for Robinson. Off to Bam out of Bio, and he's up and good. Robinson with the assist, and out of Bio with 16 points. They're just going to have to let that one keep out the lineup. Their scrimmage is nowhere facing in. They just really get that one going. A bigger look. Go pass and two. It's good. 93 85 is the score. Trying to get back into the game. He has 13 points, and points of paint was only 10. Here's Butler. He's the game to Robinson. Now finds Rozier again to Adebayo. Adebayo trying to limit it over. Now finding Rozier. Back 
to Robinson. Six on the shot clock. They need to get this one target. Will shoot up. And good. 25 points in this game. And it's Robinson with the assist. Avery and Litter trying to get back into it. They're yeah, trailing by 10. The two. It's no good. Wooshier back the airway down, finding Robinson. Their team is on the last timeout. And now it's Dukas Jr. One minute left to remain in overtime. Everybody's on their feet in Miami. Dukas Jr. Off again to Adebayo. Shooting over Lillard. And good. Grab Adebayo with 18 points. Their team is unstoppable for tonight. The underdogs are not really just going to be all sitting there just trying to let it go by and just leave it here. But the underdog team is never going to be easy enough when you take all your time effort. That's how this game gets things done to a finish line. Here's Robinson on the other side. Now finding again over to Rochini in the third. Team showing their appreciation. Baller, six to shoot. Hawk is up. Misses the shot. Last chance for the Bucks. No time left to go as the court is coming down to the end. And you will have to slam it down before Amy Lillard. And it will have to end it here. Jimmy Butler says goodnight to the Bucks. And it will head back to the road trip to Milwaukee. 97 to 87 is their final score as he extends up 3-1 over Milwaukee. The third second seed of the game turns to be the end of their night. Well, they did it again. Miami Heat shows some playoff white heat. And that is how you do it. What a win! Now it's time for the chance to go on the court side. We have David Aldridge. It's Ali with Tyler Hero. These Miami fans, they are so appreciative of the effort that you guys displayed today. Talk about what they mean to you. Drive home safe. Yeah, we couldn't do it up. Uh, these amazing fans right here, so we appreciate you guys. Uh, continue to support us. Do the ups and downs, and we appreciate y'all. Thanks so much, Tyler. All right, Ali, thank you so much. And that about wraps it up, folks. Me phone along with OJ and Nickel. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports. A long, wild night. 3-1 is your final of the series. 97-87 is your final score. Thanks for joining with us, and we'll see you again soon. Have a great night, everybody. All right, that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much, Mifa. We really appreciate your all of your timing, Angle. And what a long game this been. I know. Really, you have to be all when you can't let them go down. Here's how they give it a total statistics. 80, 65, and 57 was their free pointers and field goals for Miami Heat. 78 percentage here for Milwaukee Bucks. 12 points and fast break points was even up. 66 and 11 was Milwaukee Bucks. They're trying to get that one answered in. Then it was 28 and 39 for bench points and assists for Miami Heat. 10 points and rebounds for Milwaukee Bucks, but only 30 with Miami Heat. Six steals for Milwaukee Bucks, but it was three blocks for Miami Heat. It just happened to be one of them as the turnovers were even for points off. Two team fouls was Milwaukee Bucks with 12 dunks. And then the biggest lead was 17 for Miami with 2103 time possession of the game. That was no joke. They done that one a lot harder than a better challenge. Yes, the effort is really like taking all of this effort. May not be what you all been looking for, but it just keeps on coming in as a long time appears. Now it's time for three star players to gain. Silver Spoon, you're up. Alright, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. All goes with all the bucks already. But there's one thing to change up your mind. Damian Lillard was 19 points and three, three rebounds and three assists. He only had a, a 24 field goal range, two out of nine, three pointers. He's on fire in the second half already. 25 performance effort and three dunks were made, didn't you? That keeps it on going in. Just, just put a dunk on it and pull it back. Now for the number two spot. We get this thing right under the upper covers. And the other side we have is Sarah so Rochini the third. 25 points, two rebounds, four assists. Only had 10 out of 11 field goals. Three out of four free pointers made. 
one done just made, and 34 performance effort was his finishing total of his career. Chess happened to be once, and for twice. And for your number one star of the game, unfortunately, Jimmy Butler was the only one that took 12 assists of a night. He just really had to be on here for a good amount of time. But your number one star goes to Giaz Anacubo. With 29 points, 2 steals, 3 assists, 4 rebounds, 14 out of 17 field goal range, and 37 performance effort and with 5 dunks in between. It was nowhere up. But the effort is, it just keeps on coming in for Giannis to forcing the game 5, and we'll find out if it's a win or go home. Well, I guess you might say now. I mean, well done for the Bucks. They'll be back in for game 5 to get right into this game. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. Suns and Wolves are underway now, so if you're tuning in to the other side, we appreciate your support, and we couldn't have done it out here without you. That will be at 10 p.m. on your way. And until next time, folks, peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is Silver Spoon and Test Tube. We'll see you all again next time. Adios, everybody. Good night. Somebody will.